Hi guys, it's Beverly. Okay, what I've got to tell you is there's some modifications on this pattern I want to talk about. And I got some happy mail. So that's what our discussions for today. So in the last video, I showed you the pattern from the Mary Maxim Crochet Afghan Club. And it was a premier pattern called the Textured Wave Throw. And I linked it below. Well, I started making it. I received an email from Patty H. Hi, Patty. Shout out. And um, she told me that she had some issues with the pattern. So I had an early start. So I really couldn't... Um, tell that I was having the same issues that she did but boy did I when I got to the third row so I'm gonna attach um in the comments I'm going to copy and paste the information from Patty's email to help you if you want to get through this pattern now it's a easy pattern once you have it right and I think it would do best in a four weight yarn probably with a J hook because you would want it to be you know looser and I think it would be a great pattern for a blanket but if you remember I was using a Pius and Paul hook and the premier couture home yarn in the color coffee bean and I didn't like how it was coming out I really didn't so I came across another pattern and it was a knit pattern and I decided to use this yarn to knit with so what I did was this is a size 13 needle and I also talked to Jennifer too, Jennifer H shout out Jennifer and I she said she was gonna do an easier stitch too so I decided to take out these 30, 13, not 30, 13, 13 size knitting needles. And it said to cast on 88 stitches for the chain. So I cast on 30, 88 stitches on my size 13 knitting needles. And I'm knitting two, purling two. And I think this is going to make a nice blanket. Um, I'm not sure how big it's going to come out. But I'm still, I did three rows of this um, crochet pattern. And I pulled it out. I'm knitting with it. And I still haven't used up the amount of yarn that I did in those three rows of the crochet. So I think the yarn is going to go further, and that's what we want. I like to make this, of course you can't measure it. This is a 36 um, K inch cable on these size 13 needles. But I'm hoping that I'll get a blanket at least um, 60 inches with this, you know, long. And I'm and I'm hoping it's 40 inches or more wide. So that's why I decided to do with this yarn because it's going much faster. It's not eating up the yarn as much. But I still think this is a great pattern with the corrections I'm going to include. And it is, you know, like a ripple. And so I didn't I wanted to make those corrections and I wanted to give Patty H. The credit it'll be listed below so the errors will get you through I recommended an I or a J hook whichever is your preference and the corrections that will be below I would still make that blanket okay now it's happy mail time okay the first happy mail is from Christie's closet Christie's creations I won one of the Halloween bags for the 
Sunday, last Sunday live trivia. And she had six of these bags, and I got this bag. So let's see what's in it. You can hear it making some noise here. And it looks like, oh, it was bag number one. She left, I thought it was bag number one. She left the tag on there. And let's untwist this. I've got some scissors and a knife here if I need it, but I don't need it. So let's see what's inside here. From Christie's Closet at Christie's Creation. Okay, she's got a tin. And, ooh, there's two stitch markers. One is... Ooh, this is a nice one. This is the pumpkin one. Oh, is it going to slow down? Let me put my finger up there. That's the pumpkin one, and it matches my nails. <laughs> Got those orangey nails for Halloween. And then a flower. And I'm not good at flowers, but it's really a pretty flower. Oh, here we go. We'll put them in the tin. And there is a piece of candy or two. This is sour. Ooh. And two skeins of this yarn. Okay, what is this yarn? This is the dark horse yarn she was talking about. And it looks like they're recommending that you knit with this. I don't know if you can see that without the glare. And it says that it is nylon, acrylic, and wool. This is really cool. I think I'll have to make a hat with it. I'll knit the hat because it's recommending knitting. And I can see why. But see, look at it, you guys. Now, they kind of had an inside joke. <laughs> and I didn't know what the inside joke was on this yarn. But I got two skeins. Uh, let's see the size. Um, Dark Horse Yarns comes from Commerce City, Colorado. And it's made in Turkey. And it's hand washed in cool water. Do not iron, do not bleach. It is a 100 gram ball. And it recommends a U.S. size 15 needle. Well, I got a pair of 13s right over there. You guys saw. But it's really cool. So I don't know what the inside joke was on this yarn that Christy was talking about. I have to email her. But I like it. I really do. It's like a number four, kind of. It doesn't really have a number. Okay. And then there's a little... Oh, there's a notepad in here. It's a notepad. Happy Haunting. And it's a little notepad. And so I got a tin, two stitch markers, and two skeins of this dark horse yarn. Majestic. Very cool. Thank you, Christy, so much. So I'll move that, and then we'll get ready for the next Happy Mail. Now, I really wasn't expecting this Happy Mail till tomorrow. Jennifer H. It's here, Jennifer H. Ooh, ooh this is nice. Now, what Jennifer H. did was she asked me if she could send me some of her stash. And she knows that most of my projects go to charity. So, she wanted to... There's a card. Got to read the card first, right? Uh, greens and browns are just not in my crochet palette. I know you will make something beautiful with them. Love, Jennifer. You are right, Jennifer. I will. And this is nice yarn. Now, this is older, um, what is it? Lee Wards. Remember Lee Wards? I had a Lee. I'm from Michigan originally. And we had a Lee Wards store. And this Lee Wards was um, out of Illinois. But see, this is going to make something nice. Um, it's heavier yarn. And there's three cakes of green. And they're different shades. And, oh, four cakes of green. And three 
a brown. And I'm telling you, I will use these. I'll put them in a blanket uh, and donate it to my crochet club. Very good, Jennifer. Thank you so much. And, of course, I'll be showing on the channel what I make with it. Who knows? Maybe I'll make that blank. <laughs> the one with the errors in it. So, anyway, so I want to thank you to all my new subscribers. I've been getting lots of new subscribers lately. And I, if you want to, um, in the comments, tell me. Oh, I just got a text message. <laughs> I hope it didn't show up on the video. Um, tell me what you like about my channel and what you want to see more of and any ideas for tutorials. Now, let's see. This is November. So I'm going to be doing a yarn swap with uh, No Catchy Name in December. And uh, the title of my videos in December are gonna is going to be, are going to be, because there's going to be more than one, so it could be on our. <laughs> the videos in December are going to be titled A Few of My Favorite Things. So what I've been doing is, um, of course it's food. Hey, <laughs> oh, yarn and food. So anyway, uh, I've been gathering some of my favorite things as they've been showing up in the stores. And there's going to be a giveaway. Uh, the 15th of December, I'm going to be mailing out to the winner the basket of, or box, of all of my favorite things. A few of my favorite things. So, they're Christmas goodies that you can enjoy. Uh, I'll be mailing it by December 15th so that you'll have it before Christmas, hopefully. I'll be opening um, the yarn swap from... No catchy name, and I also have the advent calendar for uh, Bella Coco that we're going to, and then I'm looking forward to the project um, that she has. And so I'm looking forward to December, and I'll have a few videos here and there as we get closer. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, just put them in the comments. I love you guys. Thank you so much for recommending my channel. The new subscribers. Love you guys. 